drat. I forgot to ask you and Lee to return my sword. Unacceptable. Every sword is precious to me. If it weren't for the General's interference, I would have taught that shameless girl a lesson in swordplay. Uh, by the way, I don't know if it's just me, but the General seemed a little... reserved. Could it be because of Elder Wyan's visit? Reserved? Really? Uh, maybe I'm just overthinking things. No, you're not. When I entered the Palace of Astrum, I realized that the messenger from the Xianzhou Zhu Ming was actually the Arbiter General himself. So, the messenger from the Xianzhou Yao Qing must be the Merlin's Claw herself, I presume. That's right. <sighs> well, that's what makes this entire thing so unusual. What's so unusual about it? They simply received an invitation from Jing Yuan, just like the crew, right? <sighs> the war dance is just a small festival. And now we have two Arbiter Generals from other Xianzhou ships here. I'm afraid they're here for something more. Huh. Maybe they've come to hold Jing Yuan accountable for the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis? Hold him accountable? Uh, come on, didn't the Law Fu fall victim to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and the Antimatter Legion? Why would they blame the victim? Don Shu's rebellion and Fentilia's scheming are merely one side of the story to the other Arbiter Generals of the Alliance. Only a single piece of incontrovertible evidence remains, creating an endless source of potential complications. The Ambrosial Arbor... Yes. It's undeniable that the plague mark, which was subdued by the Xianzhou Lo Fu, has resurfaced. But was it really a conspiracy instigated by the Antimatter Legion? Or does it indicate a traitorous intent from within the Lo Fu, implicating Jing Yuan himself? Once the spark of suspicion is kindled, it proves hard to extinguish. Ah, uh, what was I thinking? Seriously, here I was looking forward to a carefree and enjoyable trip. But it seems wherever we go, drama is just around the corner. Ah, oh, I was so excited. I thought those Arbiter Generals were just here to see the ceremony. By the way, I heard that an alchemist from the Juming diplomatic ship has arrived. And rumors say that she's to be the new Cauldron Master of the Alchemy Commission on the Wafu. Hmm, an alchemist from the Zhu Ming serving as the Cauldron Master on the Lofu? While it's not unheard of, the timing itself... Thanks to your words, Mr. Don Hung, now I finally see the underlying tensions. The General is under tremendous pressure right now, but I was completely oblivious to his troubles. Uh, how naive of me. Uh, come on, don't think like that. Leave the adult matters to the adults. Even if you wanted to do something for the general, it's not like you can do anything. <sighs> uh, did I say something wrong? Again? Miss March is right. I don't have the skills to share the general's burdens at the moment. Still, I'll do my best to follow his instructions. Let's go. Once I've taken you to your accommodations, I need to go to the Artisanship Commission to handle the IPC's protest. Uh, he looks like he has a lot on his mind. We can't just let him go alone. Uh, why don't we accompany you to the Artisanship Commission? Uh, this is too much trouble. While I appreciate your kindness, Dealing with the IPC's workers could be tricky. I'm afraid this will cause trouble for the Express. Uh, no worries! We're pretty experienced in dealing with the IPC. You've heard of the Ten Stone Hearts? We've dealt with quite a few of them, right? Hey! 
who's bragging? Anyway, this time it'll just be a few ordinary IPC workers. Surely you don't think they'll be even trickier than adventuring, do you? Well, since you're willing to help, I won't decline your kindness. Let's head to the Artisanship Commission and meet them. Can I really reason with you, Sienjo people? I think I get it now. In your words, this is called looting a burning house, right? But I am trying to reason with you here. Ugh, that toxic voice sounds familiar. Haven't I heard it before in Arum Alley? You know what? This isn't my first time dealing with the Skyfaring Commission. I can handle your unreasonable ways. But straight up snatching IPC cargo? Isn't that going a bit too far? Just as I've said it many times already, once we've inspected the cargo and completed the security check, you can be on your way. Is there something wrong with your ears, or is it just your brain? I'm hearing you loud and clear. I'm thinking clear. And my answer is crystal clear. Not a chance. Keep detaining my cargo and I'll file a complaint directly with your general. I was gonna ask you the same thing. Why do I keep running into you? You're staying on the Sienjo, are you? What terrible luck. Wherever you go, disasters aren't far behind. Aren't you the guest from the Astral Express? What brings you and Yan Ching to the Artisanship Commission? Trouble caused by the IPC? I'd say it's caused by the Skyfaring Commission! Looks like you've met this IPC worker before. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I was sent here to deal with the IPC protest, Mishikwe. What's going on here? <sighs> As you know, this IPC transport ship was attacked by the Borison and rescued by the Juming's diplomatic ship. Then the Cloud Knights were instructed to bring it back to the dock for repairs and inspections. And this is Mr. Scott, the person in charge of this transport ship. So, you're Scott. I've heard him mention you. Weren't you kicked off the Lafu before? Why did you come back? Like I wanted to come back. I thought I'd just dock at the harbor for repairs and leave this forsaken place for good. Little did I know, as soon as the ship entered the harbor, a bunch of Cloud Knights showed up and snatched all our cargo from the hold. What do you mean by snatched? I've told you a million times. It's a security check. Then why did you bring the cargo to the Artisanship Commission? You even brought in some shady craftsmen. It's obvious you're trying to steal the IPC's patented technology! Listen here. Firstly, the Skyfaring Commission detected dangerous items that could possibly be weapons in your cargo hold. That's why they called me here, to double check. Secondly, where the heck did you get the idea that I'm a shady craftsman? Even if there are dangerous items, what do they have to do with you? It's not even being shipped to the Law Fu. We'll just fix the ship and be on our way. We won't unload our cargo here. But you'll have to stay in the port for several days before your ship is repaired and you can take off again. How can we just leave unchecked items sitting here? I understand, but we don't need to disassemble the cargo if it's just a security check, right? In most cases, we don't. However, our scans discovered that the cargo doesn't only contain machinery, but also some... substance that resembles biological tissue. Biological tissue? Does this crate contain living things? I'm afraid we'll need to wait for the Alchemy Commission for further confirmation. In any case, according to our regulations, we need to unseal one of the crates for further examination. But this IPC specialist has been hindering us on the grounds of patent secrecy. The Alliance's regulations on biological products are very strict. 
Without further inspection, there is no way for the Skyfaring Commission to release the cargo. Oh, really? Fine! If anyone lays a finger on that shipment, they'll have me to deal with! It doesn't matter if it's mechanical or biological! It's none of your business! I'm filing a complaint against the Skyfaring Commission's ridiculous regulations! <sighs> this Mr. Scott seems stubborn and difficult to persuade. Honestly, I really don't want to have a vicious confrontation with the IPC. I heard how you helped Aramali. The IPC representative back then was Mr. Scott, right? Since you've dealt with him before, it looks like I'll have to rely on you again. What are you guys whispering about over there? Just hurry up and give us back our cargo! As I recall, this guy won't listen to reason and can only be persuaded with intimidation. But he does seem to follow rules to some extent. Let's use that against him. Speaking of regulations, we have our own laws and regulations, too. According to Article 4 of the Sienjo Alliance IPC Trade Consensus, the Alliance and IPC shall never infringe on each other's intellectual property rights. The Alliance can sign a non-disclosure agreement with you. That way, you won't have to worry about any infringements, right? We can sign a mutually acceptable non-disclosure agreement in accordance with the IPC's rules. Well, uh, that makes sense, but how can we trust you to honor the terms? <clears throat> Even if we set aside the secrecy of intellectual property, these prototypes built by the Intelligentsia Guild are incredibly valuable, beyond your wildest imagination. If anything goes wrong, you won't be able to pay for it even with your lives! Don't underestimate Sienjo technology. Even if they need to dismantle your cargo, the Artisanship Commission can easily put it back together. Yeah, go ahead and brag about their skills. After all, you're just a negotiator they hired. But I'm different. I'm an IPC member, and my fleet has accepted this transportation order. Naturally, I need to be responsible for the integrity of every piece of cargo. Besides, the cargo on this transport vessel belongs to the Intelligentsia Guild. If you want to inspect the cargo, shouldn't you at least call in a member of the Intelligentsia Guild to be present? According to the principle of territoriality, since your vessel is stranded on the Sienjo, the Skyfaring Commission has the right to inspect it. Indeed. According to Article 27 of the Sienjo Legal Code, all official and private goods upon entering the port shall be subject to inspection. Failure to submit to such inspection shall be deemed equivalent to the possession of unlawful items and shall be subject to legal ramifications. Ah, huh? My synesthesia beacon must not be working, because I have no idea what you just said! Simply put, if you insist on hindering the inspection, we'll have to treat the cargo as unlawful items and confiscate it. Confiscate it? How... how can you Sanjo people be so unreasonable? If this were pure point, and incoming cargo posed a safety risk, the IPC would take it in for containment and disposal, correct? Uh... Th that's true, but the IPC sometimes makes exceptions. For example, they've always given special terms to Sea and Joe vessels. We both need to follow the regulations, because that's how the IPC and the Sea and Joe operate, right? As an IPC worker, I have to abide by its regulations. 
If I make an exception and allow you to inspect the cargo, it'll spell disaster for me. Everyone has their own set of rules. Now that you're on their turf, shouldn't you follow their rules too? Yeah, I get it. I know I'm on the Sienjo, but if I violate the IPC regulations, I'll be in deep trouble when I get back. Well, you guys sure know how to argue your case. Fine, I'll allow you to do the security inspection. It's just that, uh, I need some time to sort things out. This is a big deal. Let me talk to headquarters first. So, Mr. Scott, are you just stalling for time and planning to leave the CN Joe as soon as your ship is repaired? To avoid the Skyfaring Commission's inspection? Well, IPC staff are free to come and go. As long as they don't break any laws. Yeah, you've got some insight there. Who are you again? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lingsha, Cauldron Master and Head of the Alchemy Commission on the Lawfu. Could she be? Yeah, she's the new Cauldron Master assigned here from the Sienjo Juming. I received a report from the Artisanship Commission about cargo containing samples of unknown organisms. It said they needed help from the Alchemy Commission. I had nothing better to do, so I came myself. It's fine, Mr. Scott. If you really don't want your cargo to be inspected, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter? How can you say that? Why are you being so nice all of a sudden, hmm? Well, since you're not going to check it, I'll take this crate and be on my way. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah, sure. Why should I object? Not only this sample, but all the goods on the transport ship are yours to keep. Like I said, we won't inspect them. Wait a minute! Well, that's more like it. If only the young displayed a more reasonable attitude, we could have sidestepped that altercation just now. Our ship will leave in a few days once the engines are repaired. Your ship can leave whenever you want. But I'm afraid I can't say the same for your cargo. According to the import and export regulation signed between the Sienjo and IPC, all biological shipments can only leave the port when they have confirmed to be of no threat. Or when all biological activity expires. Since we can't determine if your shipment is safe for the environment, I guess we'll have to wait for its biological activity to expire. Let me check the previous cases. Normally, it'll only take around 47 star calendar years. <laughs> only 47 years? Why so surprised? You're still young and full of energy. I'm pretty sure you'll live a few more decades. Have some confidence in yourself. Ha! Typical of a long life species. Your words are dripping with sarcasm. While you may not care about time, I do. I'll be demanding double compensation from the Skyfaring Commission for every minute wasted. Sure thing, Mr. Scott. You seem pretty confident that your career and life will last long enough to witness this victory unfold. Uh, step aside, guys. Let them do the inspection. Uh, but, Mr. Scott... Come on, we're already in enough trouble. Just let them do the security inspection. And if needed, I can always grovel before the Intelligentsia Guild later. I'm just using my head for what it's apparently good for, right? Well, honestly, at least you're not as annoying as that woman. And you're still as annoying as ever. 
This lady... is really something else. Is this the IPC product? Uh, uh, listen up! Any damages caused by inspections will be filed with the IPC! Turn it off! That was a surprise. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Lance! Forward! Waters of oblivion. Get them. Attack mode. Let's duel. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. accidentally triggered the cargo's defense program. I don't think trying to shift the blame is a wise choice. But seriously, I don't know why that thing suddenly started moving. I swear on the Amber Lord. Enough. Miss Shikue, please escort our IPC guests to the Skyfaring Commission. I'm on it. Please follow me, Mr. Scott. Gentlemen, our preliminary inspection shows that there is indeed hidden biological tissues inside. Just like the craftsmen feared. I can't even tell if it's ingenium or biological in nature. The core of this device is what they call wetware, in industry slang. To put it simply, this machine operates with a kind of biological nerve as its control center. I'll take some samples for the alchemist to analyze and figure out where the biological tissue comes from. Why would the Intelligentsia Guild use such unethical technology? Perhaps they're trying to create a new weapon? Whatever the reason is, it's probably why the Borison attacked the ship. No wonder the IPC were trying to obstruct our inspection. I'll contact the Ten Lords Commission and ask the judges to come and give their final verdict on this. According to our rules, all prisoners and weapons involving dangerous creatures must be taken to the Shackling Prison for further sentencing. After all, it's the safest place on the Lafu. As for you, Mr. Craftsman, please go with the Cloud Knights and explain the situation to the judge. I had a feeling that the IPC members would cause trouble, but I didn't think they'd be this tricky. Thanks for your help, Miss Linksha. I should thank you for saving my life. Your sword skills were impressive. Taking down that big guy. I thought the General's retainers were all burly martial masters. I didn't expect Yenqing to be so... Yeah, exactly. He's young and talented. As for you, 
You must be the guests from the Astral Express, right? Saving the Lafu from that crisis. It's so impressive. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. Really. It's still early. So why don't we get some tea at the Alchemy Commission? We can discuss your suggestions for revitalizing the Commission. Uh, I'd be happy to accept your invitation. And you three are coming too, right? <laughs>